Let's talk about what's happening in Israel and the Gaza Strip. Israel is a country, and the Gaza Strip is a place nearby. There is a group in the Gaza Strip called Hamas, and they have been fighting with the Israeli Defense Forces. This fight started four days ago because Hamas did something surprising. They launched many rockets into Israeli cities, and they even came into Israel using motorcycles, trucks, paragliders, and speedboats. They attacked 22 different places in Israel. In response, Israel, which is known for its advanced technology and intelligence, launched a big airstrike operation in the Gaza Strip and the areas around it. On Sunday, they officially declared that they are at war with the Hamas group. Since then, they have been continuing to attack the Gaza Strip with airstrikes. Israeli warplanes kept bombing Gaza City until early Tuesday. These airstrikes hit houses where people live, and sadly, it's said that at least two journalists from Palestine Palestine were killed, according to Al Jazeera. The Israeli military said they attacked more than 200 places in the Gaza Strip during the night. Some of these places were in the Rimal neighborhood in Gaza City and also in Khan Yunus City. They mentioned that they hit a place where weapons were kept inside a mosque. They also hit an apartment where a group called Hamas kept special missiles that are used against tanks. The Israeli military told us that they now have full control of the fence around Gaza. This fence was broken by some Hamas fighters who got into southern Israel on Saturday. They say that for the past day, no more Hamas fighters have crossed the fence, but they are worried that some of them might still be hiding in areas. The military is now putting mines in the places where the fence was broken to make sure nobody can sneak in again. According to the United Nations, more than 187,500 people in Gaza had to leave their homes as the fighting started. As of Tuesday, more than 700 people in Gaza have been killed, and sadly, about 100 of them were kids. Almost 4,000 people got hurt, and that's a lot. Some groups that help people say that things like water, bathrooms, and keeping clean were already messed up for more than 400,000 people. Now, Israel is making it even harder for people in Gaza by not letting them get things in or out for 16 years, like stopping planes, ships, and trucks from coming and going. There are about 2.3 million people in Gaza. The defense minister of Israel, Yov Gallant, said they're making it even harder for people in Gaza, and he said some mean things about the Palestinian people. Now it looks like Israel might be getting ready to send their soldiers into Gaza, which could make the fight even bigger. Israeli soldiers and tanks are now at the edge of a crowded piece of land, and they've called in 300,000 extra soldiers who were not on duty before. The United States, Germany, France, and the United Kingdom are helping Israel with what they are doing. They think it's a way to strike back. But some groups that care about people's rights are worried. They say that Israel is trying to punish all the people in Gaza, not just the ones causing trouble. A person from a group called Human Rights Watch, Omar Shakir said that hurting regular people on purpose, taking them as prisoners, and punishing everyone together are really bad things. He talked about how both the Hamas group and the Israeli government are doing things that are against the rules. He also said that if people don't follow the rules about human rights and being responsible, the fighting and problems in the area will keep going. Israel's leader, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, is saying that they will use very strong force against the Hamas group. He told his country on TV that they've only just begun to fight against Hamas and what they'll do in the next few days will be remembered for a long time. There are some people from Palestinian groups like Fatah, Hamas, and the Palestinian Liberation Front who want to join in the fight against Israel, not just in Gaza, but in other places too. One person from Fatah in Beirut, a city in another country, said that they are ready to fight for their homeland. But they need help, especially from a group called Hezbollah, before they can really join the battle. There's a group called Hezbollah, and they're from a country called Lebanon. They are close to the government in power in Lebanon, and they fired some some weapons into a place that Israel controls on a Sunday. Israel fired back with big guns, and one member of Hezbollah got hurt. Now some people think that the Palestinian fighters in Gaza might need help from Hezbollah to keep fighting against Israel. But Hezbollah hasn't said they will help more, and they haven't prepared their soldiers yet. They have a leader who says they have a lot of fighters, but they haven't done anything more yet. The defense minister of Israel, Yov Gallant, has said that if Hezbollah starts fighting with them again, Lebanon could have big problems. He's saying that they don't want a war, but they are ready to protect their people and their country if they have to. Hamas said they are ready to fight with Israel for a long time. They also said they might use some people they are holding as a way to make Israel release Palestinians from their jails and from other places. Hamas is worried about things that have been tense for a while, like arguments over a special place called the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is important to both Muslims and Jews. Sometimes these arguments turn into big fights, like the one between Israel and Hamas in 2021 
that lasted for 11 days. Lately, some Jewish people, especially those who are very religious, have been going to this place more often. This makes Hamas angry, and they say that the Jewish people are not following the rules they agreed on for this place. Hamas is upset about a few things. They don't like that Jewish people are building houses on land that Palestinians say belongs to them for their own country. Many countries around the world say this is not okay. There's also a person named Ben Ver who wants to make it harder for Palestinians in Israeli jails, and Hamas doesn't like that. Plus, there's a place called Gaza, and it's like a big closed-off area. Hamas doesn't like that either. Some countries near Israel used to really dislike Israel, but they've made peace deals with Israel in recent times. This means they decided to be friends with Israel without solving the problems with the Palestinians. They did this because they have a common enemy, which is another country called Iran that helps Hamas a lot with money and weapons. The United States wants to help these countries make friends with Israel, and that might be one of the reasons why Hamas is fighting right now. They don't want Israel to be become friends with other big countries in the area. 7. Israel has said that Hamas and other groups in Gaza took more than 150 soldiers and regular people when they attacked on Saturday. Israel kept on hitting the middle of Gaza City with big attacks on Tuesday. They also called up a lot of soldiers who weren't working before. They promised to fight back really hard against the Hamas group because of their surprise attack over the weekend. This war started after the Hamas fighters came into Israel on Saturday and there were fights in the streets, something that hadn't happened in a long time. It's really sad because a lot of people have already lost their lives, about 1,600 of them. The Israeli military is saying that they have managed to take charge of the southern areas and have made sure the border is safe. They mentioned that no Hamas fighters came into Israel since last night. They also found about 1,500 bodies of Hamas fighters in Israel. A person who speaks for Israel's military, Richard Hecht, said that they've made good progress in the south and fixed the border after four days of fighting. He mentioned mentioned that even though no Hamas fighters came in on Monday night, it could still happen, so they need to be careful. Israel told us that around 900 soldiers and regular people have lost their lives, and the Palestinian authorities said that about 700 people in Gaza and the West Bank have also died. The United Nations said that more than 187,500 people had to leave their homes in Gaza because of all the fighting. The United Nations also mentioned that while the fighting is still happening with Israel dropping bombs and stuff, the military part of the Hamas group, which is also fighting, said they might hurt an Israeli person who they are holding if Israeli soldiers keep attacking homes in Gaza without warning. The United States, along with some other countries, strongly condemns the terrible acts of terrorism done by Hamas. They say they will help Israel protect its people from these bad actions. The President of the United States, Joe Biden, talked about how terrible the attacks by Hamas on Israel were. He called them very evil and said, we support Israel. He also mentioned that some Americans lost their lives in these attacks and some are being held by Hamas in Gaza. A person named Jake Sullivan, who advises on national security, said that they are trying to find out how many Americans are missing or being held by Hamas. They are working really hard to get all the information they need. 